the time has come. It's time to talk about the first five star unit I got on this account. It's time to talk about Gilgamesh. Yes, that's right. Gilgamesh was the first five star unit I ever got on this account. He was the first TMR I ever got, his dual wield ability. And it was the first thing that kept me playing this game because my Orlando went from being a eh, to, wow, holy, dual wields a big f***ing deal. Now we all know that Gilgamesh is kind of, well, actually really hardly, really hard, fell out of the meta. Nobody talks about Gilgamesh anymore, other than his TMR. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's actually pretty cool still. That's right, I th so we are here to talk and review Gilgamesh 7 Star. So firstly, I want to take note that the fact that his sprite actually did get improved in the 7 Star, even if a little bit, there weren't many units that got an improved 7 Star sprite this time, so it's pretty cool to see that Gilgamesh did. So what about him? Well, he's one of my actual favorite. I didn't say actual. I just said actual. He's one of my favorite units, and as you can see, I have a long way to go in terms of improving him. I don't use him that much, but he's one of my favorite new seven stars, and for a lot of reasons. So let's go over it. For equipping his TMR. Well, no, let's start with... All right. Getting a little excited. First of all, the Genji Gauntlet is, of course, his TMR. We all know what it does, so let's move on. His Super TMR is a Helmet, 45 Attack, 15 Defense, 2 Spirit with 30 Dark Resistance, Paralyze, Confuse, and Petrify Resist. Now, a lot of people have said this is really bad, and I don't think so. I think it's good for armored units who can't equip Precious Hairpin, such as Duke, for example. Either way, I think it's a pretty good TMR, that mm, super TMR. Also because it has Paralyze, Confuse, and Petrify Resist, which would just be good for a general, for a tank, or a counter tank. So I'm not convinced it's bad, as everyone says. What I am convinced is bad still is Gilgamesh's Limit Burst. At max 7 star for 26 crystals, it's a self 5 turn plus 110% to all stats. Except, of course, HP and MP. My Lunara can do better than that. So, of course, Gilgamesh has gotten his enhancements already, but what does he get in his 7 star? Well, his 7 star kit is massive. First of all, his, his Trust Mastery ability gives him an extra 30% attack when dual wielding, as well as enhance his Limit Burst. Now his Limit Burst will give him an extra 10% to all of the stats he gets increased, but it also grants Secret Sword Excalibur, Secret Sword Muramasen, Secret Sword Ice Rush Sword, and Secret Sword Genji Sword for four turns. So it gives him some new abilities. I haven't actually seen these abilities yet. He also has a 1 MP cooldown, available turn 1, 4 turn cooldown, grant 4 people to come. I, I, I don't know what to say. We'll have to test that one. He has mastery, which gives him 100% damage modifier for snow moon flower and his 3 strike so that's okay, and it gives him one extra limit burst crystal per turn. He has Secret Sword Excalibur, which ST one damage attack that also does a three turn 55% debuff to all stats to an enemy. That's pretty clever. I like that. He has Secret Sword Toratsu for 72 MP, 550% single target, four hit physical attack, Evade two attacks for the next three turns. Does some damage, keeps himself safe. Ah, eh, that's cool. He has Secret Sword Nagitana, an AoE fill three to five limit burst crystals for the team. That's really nice of him for 38 MP. 
But now we get into the hard part of doing this video. I ain't reading all of that. Not a chance in hell. Long story short, depending on what weapon you have equipped, anything from a dagger to a projectile changes Gilgamesh in a drastic way. It will give him various element resistances as well as killer abilities. And not just any killer, killer Kai abilities. So whether, for instance, if you equip a katana, it actually gives him human killer of 75% physical and magic damage. That's really big when you start stacking killers from everything else. But it's not just that. He can get killers against demons, undeads, all kinds of things, depending on how you want to equip. Knuckle gives thunder resistance and machine killer. So, taking a look at what I have equipped on mine, we have Sephiroth's Katana, oops, and Precious Super TMR God Hand, which is just awesome, by the way. Other than that, his build is pretty good. We've also put Human Killer on because we want to stack the killer abilities. And of course, mine is only level 116. I didn't have enough time before running out of time to really do a great thing. But his last ability, Genji's meaning, Genji Sword, Genji Shield, Genji Helmet, V, gives plus 15% attack. So if he has Genji weapons, I guess Gilgamesh's abilities are really, really, really really weird really really weird so we're gonna just we're gonna actually need a few times with this training dummy just to show everything off and to start we're gonna use his one mp ability because yeah look at that that is a hell of an ability for one mp the value Okay, so let's actually talk about it. First, the 1 MP ability has is kind of a random thing. There's, I was bad. Grant four people to come for one turn. Okay. I have four people by four people. Or I have come, I have to come four by four people. Self three turn plus 300 defense and Grant do not have any hands or legs for one turn. Then it goes into, I cannot hold my hands or feet, which grants self plus 300% spirit for well, one turn, which then unlocks the ability, it is a lie, which self recover plus 100% HP, MP, and a one turn 1500% AOE one hit physical attack. So we're just gonna go through this. I don't think we can quite do it, but uh, it's kind of cool to show off. So it should be somewhere. There it is. Oh my god, the defensive power. No, show us. 836 defense. That's pretty good for Gilgamesh, considering I wasn't building him for defense. Gilgamesh might be the secret best tank in the whole world. Nope, there's the next one. Let's take a real quick look at his stats. Ooh, 665 for spirit. Nice. And his next one. It was a lie. And away he goes. Where he stops, nobody knows. We have done a massive amount of damage. Wow! Five turns, but it was worth it, wasn't it? 
for 9 million points of damage. You gotta, that's... Gilgamesh might just be the memeiest character ever. And I totally... I dare someone to start a YouTube channel with this character's memeiness. That would be incredible. I may even start a series... I may just have to start a series of just how meme this character is. So the thing we want to do first, we definitely want to charge his limit first so we can get back going. Ba -da -da. Who doesn't love battle on the big bridge? Almost there. Can't remember. Does CG Sakura have... We'll now show off one of his abilities. Which one? Mm, we'll show off his new one. Toratsu. Which is his 72 MP ability. Not bad, 13 million. The killers are what really makes this character. But we have yet to show off some of the best stuff with this guy. And to do that, we are going to Limit Burst, where Gilgamesh transforms and just laughs at him. Ha 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 ha! All right, so now what does he actually get? Because we talked about this a little bit earlier. He gets four moves, Excalibur, Muramasa, Sword Train, uh, well, and Genji's Sword. So Excalibur is a 780% single target, seven hit light physical attack. Muramasa is a 1520% single target, five hit dark hybrid attack. Sword Train, which I'm pretty sure the translation's kind of off on that. I don't know what it would be. 600% AoE one-hit physical attack with a 35% chance to OHKO. Cool. Which means he could potentially kill a whole party in Arena. No, just, yeah, maybe. Maybe someday. Maybe I'll do an Arena thing on that. And Genji Sword, a 450% one-hit physical attack with an AoE three-turn minus 60% to all element resistance. So, I actually like that one first. Let's start with that one, shall we? Where are they? Here we are. There's three. There's four. All right. Let's do the element de debuff first. Can you imagine how much better he would be if I actually developed him fully? And since the nice thing about this guy is that he gets multiple turns, we can show off all of his abilities. Six million on his own. That's not bad. But of course, we have more abilities to show off. On his own, he did pretty okay. Now, the real question I have, and we are going to answer before the end of this video. Well, actually, I have a question first. Did I enhance this guy at all? Because I don't think I got his enhancements. Pretty sure I didn't. Enhancements? No, I haven't enhanced him, so he could be much better than he actually is, but... Yeah, well, there you go. 
So the real question is, can he blend? Can he blend? So we want to go here. We want to use this. Does it blend? Does it blend? Now the real trick is, can we do this without killing him horribly? And we will use his Limit Burst Bill for the entire party. Isn't that nice? There's still a good chance we're just going to kill this guy outright. It's okay, he can't do really that much to us. Uh-oh, but Lauren might. Where did all the Limit Burst Crystals go? Not to him. Alright, well, we'll just keep stalling. Defense! He's going to AoE and kill himself to death, isn't he? Quite possibly. Lauren is not happy. Seriously. I'm actually really con possibly considering killing Loring. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Goodbye, Lauren. No, no. Uh, don't, Orlando. Don't do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot he does that. Somewhat annoying, but we should be okay eventually. Mainly just because I'm dicking around. Now we will get the answer, providing uh, something doesn't happen that kills us or him. Uh-oh, he's getting angry. Poor Lauren. Lauren's just dead on the t floor. This is the most epic fight with this boss that I've ever had. All right, Holy Explosion and Holy Short Excalibur. In theory, this should work. It blends! So at the low cost of trying to get his damn limit burst up, you can actually holy explosion chain with Gilgamesh. Oh, that was almost worth all that effort. So there you go, folks. That is Gilgamesh's seven star. I think he's... 
interesting, to say the least. Uh, his kit is definitely the, one of the more flexible of every character out there, and if I took him maybe a little bit more seriously, which could be in a future video, uh, who knows what he could actually do. But he is kind of cool, and if nothing else, he has some really meme -y stuff that could be fun just to OTK some old bosses, or maybe just his old trial. That would be kind of fun to make him use his one MP ability for four turns and then kill himself. Maybe. Anyway, so that is all for this unit review, and I will see you all in the next video. Do I think he's any good? Yeah.